Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna talk about using Google Analytics parameters with custom redirects in Pardot. So I'm here under the content tab in Pardot. I'm looking at a custom redirect and I've clicked into it to see its details. Now, a custom redirect is typically just gonna help you track a link that's clicked on. And they're really useful for say banner ads, or you're trying to track access to a file that's not on Pardot, or really any sort of you know, visitor activity, any sort of link click that you don't have direct control over. So perhaps you've got another email that's going out from a third party, and you wanna see how many people click on that link in their email. Well, you don't have access to their analytics, but you could provide them with a tracked link, a custom redirect, and then you could see you know, how many clicks you're, you're getting as a result of that. So that's the standard functionality. And the way it works is you tell Pardot you know, what the destination URL is. So in our case here, it's rotive.io, and then it produces a tracked URL for you. And you could get specific with it and, and put in a vanity URL if you cared what the last few you know, letters were. In this case, we don't. We just have a standard you know, generic tracked link here. And so anybody who clicks on this link, Pardot will know it, will track them, and they'll get redirected to our final destination URL, rotive.io, right here. Now URL parameters, or Google Analytics parameters, can be added here. So what this allows you to do is put in values for those standard UTM parameters, which are used in you know, online marketing all over the place. Really good for tracking you know, the source of a visitor. And whenever you put in the value down here, it's automatically gonna update that destination URL and we can preview it right here at the top of the Google Analytics parameters. So really, it's just saving you a step of building this URL yourself. I mean, you could absolutely just type all of that in the destination URL right up here if you wanted to, but by adding it down here, a little bit easier to read and it, it builds it for you. So you might want to use UTMs with a tracked link if you're using UTMs other places in your marketing in Pardot. So it's pretty common for clients of ours to leverage the campaign value or any of these other values like source or content for automation rules in the system. For example, they might have a generic one week Pardot course campaign in any prospect that comes into Pardot with the value, the one week Pardot course, in that campaign field is gonna automatically get added as a member to the campaign record in Salesforce. An automation rule is a great way to set that up. So if you already have some of those rules running in the background, you can just extend that tracking through a URL redirect. Uh, and all those downstream automation rules are, are gonna run as they typically do. So that's the main reason to use these parameters. It's if you're already using them and you wanna have that extra level of accuracy and understanding where someone's coming from, then these, these analytics parameters can be really useful. And Pardot just makes it easy to include them in a URL redirect. There's really nothing fancy that's happening here. It's just building this link for you so you don't have to do it manually. Well, I hope that helps. If it did, please click the like button and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.